So, recently I got featured in a video that Stealthy Scoot and I did. And by the way, you should go check out his channel and I'll have it in the description below. But, point is that we did a sort of miniature NG match, I guess. And I was not at all prepared for it. And, needless to say, I lost. I lost really hard. But you know what? It's okay. Because I'm not mad that I lost. There is a quote that I said in there where I have my highs and I have my lows. And sometimes I'm really, really high and doing really well. And sometimes I'm just really, really low. And that was one of my low moments. And more or less, it's okay to have bad moments. It's okay to have moments that you're not always succeeding. Because it's an interesting sort of conversation that we sort of shun failure. Kind of make it out to be that, um, always have to succeed. And it's just not the case. Because in life, you're just not always going to succeed. It's just not how it works. Sometimes things won't work out as you plan. And it's important to make the best of it. But as people, we tend to get comfortable comparing ourselves to everyone else. Where we feel like, oh, I have to be as good as this person, or I'm going to be shunned, or whatever. And this is just not how it works. And I feel like that the best way to explain it is that you should take every moment not trying to improve on someone else's standards, but improve on your own standards. You should improve because you want to improve. You should improve to be better than yourself. Sure, you can watch some pro streamers or whatever and just get really inspired and take what they use and, you know, get better. That's good. That's fine. That's very helpful. But don't hold yourself to the same standard that they do because you don't need to be as good as them. It's okay to fail. It's okay to mess up. It's alright to be bad at something and be okay with being bad because once you realize that you're bad, you can just get better. There's a lot of people that I talk with where they kind of have this mindset that I'm never going to get better because I plateaued. I'm never going to get better because I've done the most that I can do. I keep training and training and I never get better. Well, maybe it's not the training that needs to be changed. Maybe it's just the way that you look at it that needs to be changed. Sometimes taking a different approach is the best solution. There are going to be some times where just no matter what you do, you're just not going to be able to do better. It happens. It's part of life. But you shouldn't feel sad about it. Because when you know that you're not the best at something, you can use it as an opportunity to improve. A lot of things in life tell you to be yourself, and I feel like it's the wrong approach. You should want to be yourself, not for the sake of being okay with where you're at, but being okay with being better than yourself. You should be the yourself that you want to be. The person you want to wake up in the morning and say, yeah, I'm happy with myself. And I'm not just talking games either in life, in general. Be better because you want to be better. There's a phrase that I use in life. The person I was yesterday doesn't define the person I want to be tomorrow. Just because I am a certain way now, doesn't mean I always have to be that way. Like, let's take for example, when I'm playing Scout. Of course I want to get better at playing Scout. Of course I want to get better at playing TF2. But I do it because I want to do it. Not because I feel that I have to do it. I'm not going to be professional. I'm not going to be Banny. I'm not going to be Thief. I'm just going to be myself. And I feel like that that is the most powerful approach to have. Because I'm not having to compete with Banny. I'm not having to compete with Thief. I'm just having to compete with myself. It's my own standard to improve on. And it's empowering. Because not holding yourself up to somebody else's standards. Or trying to compare yourself all the time. Makes it so much easier to just appreciate your little strides. As opposed to saying, yeah sure I've done this. But... It's not Fanny play, and I'm absolutely the worst about this. But it's the healthiest way to grow as a person, in my opinion. You just kind of take it a step at a time and just say, All right, I've done this amount of effort, and I've accomplished this. Now how am I going to do this better? It's okay to look to others for inspiration. Don't get me wrong. Don't feel like you have to put yourself to this pedestal of saying, I need to be this level of good because... I can't be bad, right? It's okay to be bad. It's okay to mess up. It's okay not to play your best. It's just life. Things happen. You get better. Just because you're down now doesn't mean you're always going to be down. It's just important that when you look at improving on something, not because you're expected to improve, not because somebody else wants you to improve, 
but because you want to improve, Satan. Yeah, I can get better in this way. I can get better because I want to be better. I can do better because I know I can be better. You should take strides to always improve yourself and never stop growing. If I don't do well, I'm not gonna feel bad about it. I'm gonna get better. Because when you start believing in this plateau mindset of I can't improve, I've done everything I could, then you're gonna believe your own destiny. And you're the harbinger of your own destiny. No one else is. You don't need other people to validate you. You need to validate yourself. You need to be okay with yourself, with your ups and your downs. You need to understand that it's just part of the process, it's part of growing. And you can't expect yourself to always be in a position where you're just gonna be the best at everything. Of course you're not. We're humans, we have flaws, and it's okay to accept those flaws. And it's hard, but it's a conscious decision. You have to choose to be happy for yourself. Nobody else is gonna make that decision for you. The thing is, even I can't tell you you have to be happy for yourself. You have to convince yourself that you can be happy with yourself. Because more or less, you have to be the you that believes in yourself. And if you can't believe in yourself, then believe in a you that can believe in yourself. That's how you get better. You don't get better by proxy. You don't get better by just getting a stroke of luck. You get better because you want to be better. So, hopefully you enjoyed my rambling here. This is going to be the first of my new series. And if you guys liked it, let me know in the comments. Thank you.